What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to share my overall thoughts and experience with the NoFap movement. So you guys might be wondering, do I jerk off? Do I not jerk off? I'm sure these are the questions that are keeping you guys up at night. So in this video, I'm going to break down my personal experience with trying NoFap and give you guys a breakdown whether I think it's legit or totally bullshit. All right, so I've been doing NoFap for about five years now, semi-strictly. So what I mean by that is I generally don't jerk off, unless, of course, there's a girl there. But, you know, if one night, you know, I can't sleep, and I do decide to jerk off, I'm not going to beat myself over it. So I'm not like, it's not a religion for me. It's just a tool that I use to improve my life. So what do I think are the benefits? First of all, I think that there's a lot of pseudoscience out there with this. Like a lot of guys say that you're going to build muscle faster. That, you know, if you jerk off, you fuck up your brain. You know, porn messes up your circuitry. I honestly don't know if there's actually, if this is actually objective truth or just speculation, bro science. But the practical reason why I think NoFap can be useful is simply because it gives you more drive with women. So what I mean by that is, you know, say you're on a date and it's just like, it's a fucking, it's a difficult date. She's giving you shit. She's giving you shit. And you're kind of at the point where you almost want to give up. Now, if you have that option, you can just go home and jerk off to a girl that looks like her. Well, that's going to be a very easy way out. And you're going to be very tempted to just give up and just take that option. Now, if that, you know, that choice is completely removed from your subconscious, well, your only choice, if you want to get laid, if you want to have that release is to close her or to go out and close another girl. So that's going to give, make you a lot more motivated. And I think this can be very useful for you know beginners and intermediates, especially anyone who's stuck in a rut. Basically, the way I like to think about it is that like that guy who's just fucking got five kids to feed, you know, he's going to work a lot harder at his job. This is basically the equivalent of that in terms of game. Now, another thing that I learned about recently is called semen retention. So this is basically where you just don't come. And to me, that is not going to be something I'm going to do for two reasons. First of all, simply a lot of girls, or not a lot, but a decent amount of girls are going to get turned off because you don't come. They're going to think it's something to do with them. And for them, that's just going to be a big turn off. So again, that's the first reason. Second reason is you're going to remove the funnest part about game from the equation to what? Increase your results by 10, 20, even 30%. To me, the ROI is in there. Like literally coming is the best part of, you know, sex, like coming on the girl's face, on her tits, whatever, like this fucking epic shit. So I'm not going to deny myself that, you know, you only live fucking once. You know, I try to be strict with my life, but not so strict that I can never have any fun. And to me, just simply the ROI isn't there. All right. Hopefully you guys found this video valuable. Show me some love by smashing the like button hitting the subscribe button, hitting the bell for notifications, and make sure you check out my other videos that cover the basics, how to you know, pick out the right kind of Tinder profile pictures, how to set up a profile that gets matches, how to have good text game you know, that you can transform these matches into dates, and ultimately how to close your date so that you can take advantage of all this extra motivation you're gonna have from doing NoFap to actually get late. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And until next time.